Right, intersections for today. So if you have two lines that cross, there will be a point of intersection. This one's been marked as A. So the coordinates of the point of the intersection at A will satisfy the equation of both of those lines. So if you plug X and Y from the coordinates of A into the equation of the line, they'll work on both lines. Now we use that to find those points of intersection. So here's our first example. Find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the lines y equals 3x plus 1 and y equals 4x minus 1. We'll just do a little sketch of what it looks like so we can imagine it first. It's always a really good idea to sketch these questions before you try solving them and you can get a, an idea of what it is that you're looking for. So here we have y equals 3x plus 1 and y equals 4x minus 1. And we're looking for that point there where they cross. So that will happen when our coordinates x and y are equal to each other. Now since we have the, the equations of those lines in y equals, that means if y is 3x plus 1 and y is also 4x minus 1, that will be at that yellow point where they cross the point of intersection. So it's when the equations of the two lines are equal. Now we just solve this to work out what x would have to be. So x is 2 we put that back into the equation to work out what y is. So when x is 2, y is 7. So the coordinates of a are 2, 7. Now it's always a good idea to do a mental check when you get to this point to check that it actually works. So for example, if you took that x equals 2 and you put it into 3x plus 1 to work out that y was 7, do the same on the other one and make sure that it works. So if we put x is 2 into 4x minus 1, we get 4 times 2 is 8, take off the 1 and we get 7. And we're making sure that the coordinates work on both of the lines to find that point of intersection. Okay, next example. A straight line passes through these two coordinates. We want to find the point at which the line, line that goes through A and B crosses the line Y equals 4X plus 12. So first of all, we need the gradient of the line AB so we can work out the equation of it. So that one you've done previously, the change in Y over the change in X. So this would be minus 7. So now we can work out the equation of that line AB substituting in those values we just worked out and the coord one of the coordinates. It could be either A or B, it doesn't matter. Simplify that and we get the equation of that line as y equals minus 7x plus 23. Now at the point of intersection with the line in the question that will be where the two equations are equal to each other. So the point of intersection will happen when minus 7x plus 23 equals 4x plus 12. So we need to go ahead and solve that equation. So x is 1. Substitute it back in. Um, say we put that 1 into 4x plus 12. So 4 times 1 is 4 plus the 12 gives us y equals 16. And then do a mental check as well. So if we put it into minus 7x plus 23 we'll get um, minus 7 times 1 is minus 7, add the 23, gives us 16, so it works that way as well. 